Good afternoon, YouTuber. Or good evening, I don't know your life. Today's episode on the Ratchet Dope channel will be a look out for spring video. It's basically just a whole bunch of things that I think are essential to surviving spring. But wait, Ratchet Dope, it's not even spring yet. Freaking know that, guys. I'm doing this because if you are a female, you like to get things done way ahead of time. So the second that it hits like 60, 70 degrees, you're out there buying new clothes. So if you're a guy, don't click away yet because this could be very good for you if you have a certain lady friend or you are in need of a honey dip. So let's go ahead and start this. My all-time favorite spring items happen to be nail polish. If you're a guy and you want to surprise your girlfriend with something cute during the spring, whether it's an anniversary or her birthday or whatever it may be, buy her some cute nail polishes. She will appreciate it. But any colors like this definitely signify more of a springy feel. These two can be bought at Forever 21. This one can be ordered from Hollister online, and this one can you can get from Walgreens or Rite Aid or wherever else. Next up on the lookout for spring video is different chapsticks. I know that's really kind of random and you wouldn't just think that like, oh, it's spring, I need a new chapstick. Well, you do. I use Lipsil from Walmart, and it is literally the freshest, most minty feeling upon your face orifice. Or you could just go with like a tropical fruit Eos. Everyone knows what Eos is. If you don't, I don't, I don't know who you are. Next up is makeup, and I think this is really important for both girls and guys, because if you are a guy, you don't know anything about makeup. I'm sorry, but you don't. So just for a quick lesson for all of you fellas out there, when it is springtime or summertime, you do not want to be wearing dark makeup. My eyeballs are not very dark, because if you do wear dark makeup, you're gonna look like a 2009 scene kid. And we all know scene and emo kids just don't have souls. So my favorite makeups for the springtime season are Color Tattoo from Rite Aid. Let me see that. Um, just a sparkly brown, coppery thing and it stays on all day. Second favorite is the NYX palette uh, eyeshadow, and I honestly don't even remember where I got this one, it's been a while, but this one is really great. This is the one that I used on my eyes today. It's probably my favorite springtime look. And lastly, a little makeup tip for springtime season is, uh, this is the cover-up that I use, and I tend to go a shade darker during spring, and you can't, you honestly can't tell that much. It makes your skin look a lot warmer, and you don't look as pale as people tend to get during the winter season, so thumbs up for not being pale. Okay, next up is just a little quick one for the guys. During winter, girls have a tendency to wear a lot stronger perfume, typically more expensive ones, but during spring, you want to really switch over to a body mist. And this is just a Victoria's Secret one, uh, Hello Darling. It's white nectarine and peony. So a body mist will help you. You'll still smell good, but it'll be a lot more lightweight because it'll start to get a lot hotter and then you don't want to sweat off your perfume because that's gross and then people won't like you. Next up, I have accessories, also good for both girls and guys to know about. During spring, I have a tendency to wear a lot more bows. I got this one at Love Couture for, I think, $2. You're gonna wanna switch from the crocheted little headbands to flower headbands. So many people criticize saying, oh, flower headbands are so cliche. Like, you can only wear those at Coachella and stuff like that. You're wrong. Flower headbands are beautiful, accentuating the fact that it is spring and there are, in fact, flowers coming up everywhere. So you better wear them on your freaking head, because why not? I won't judge you. Next up, I had a lot of people asking about my uh, Rostclad bracelet. This bracelet I got at Zoomies for, I want to say, $10 maybe? But I guess it's becoming um, a big thing, so if you want to invest in one of these, they have them in all different colors. You can have gold or silver, little platelet thingies. I don't know. I don't even fashion. Next up is a really good idea for guys to get for your girlfriend. If you live in Southern California, as I do, every year we have the Poppy Festival and it's just a great big old shindig full of flowers and California good -it goodness. But every year I go and there'll be some rad Jamaican dude just selling some sweet Jamaican bags. And it's a really cute idea for your girlfriend or if you want to buy one yourself. They have them in all different colors and they're just super beautiful. Mine I think was 15 to 25 dollars, I don't remember. Lastly, for hair. Typically during spring I do a lot more of this 
curly goodness. And for that, I use my Conair U Curl wand. I think I bought mine at Walmart for 20, 25-ish. Lastly is probably my favorite product that I use. I'd have to say I use it maybe twice a week, maybe? That's about as much as I do. And this is the InStyler, as seen on TV. Oh, I wanted to turn it down. It is great for all hair types, but I do not suggest you get it if you have really, really tight, curly hair. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't do that much for you. If you have slightly curly hair, wavy hair, straight hair, whatever else, this is a really great product for you to have, and it isn't that expensive. I think most that they go up to is like $40 with shipping and handling, but I could be wrong. Whether or not you want to straighten your hair, or give it a little bit of volume, or curl it, or, or whatever you want to do, it's a really great product to have for all of the above. So if you want to buy that for your girlfriend, it's an awesome idea, and she would totally love you for it. I know I would. So I think that concludes my video of springtime goodness. Spring, spring, springtime. That was just for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, one more thing that I forgot. Uh, I'm gonna have a giveaway. Take a look at this super cute floral headband on my head, or crown, or whatever you want to call it. This is the first one I ever made, so it isn't honestly that great, but I've made more since then, and they turned out a lot better. So I'm going to leave the rules for the giveaway down below in the little little box that you know what I'm talking about in the box I will also be posting the information on Twitter on Instagram on Facebook I don't know why I'm still pointing down below I'm stop so. it's definitely enter to win completely free like I will I will do it for free a headband of your color if you want it to be a full crown if you want it however you want it to be I will make you a Depending on how many entries that I have, I may give away just one if it's only a few, or if I have a lot of people enter, I think I will amp it up to maybe 10 or so. I, I don't know. It all depends on you guys. This is all for you. Thank you for watching, you guys. I'll try and put out stuff a little bit more often, but I really don't know because I'm super not organized and a high school student, so please don't judge me. Stay ratchet dope. Ew. Thanks for watching.